Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. Welcome to another video. Continuing my series on all of the toxic chemicals in our food, chemicals that are actually banned in other countries, I want to focus on the next chemical in this video. Remember, sadly, in the United States, food policy is shaped by industry. It's all about the bottom line. It's about making products addictive. It's about making products last longer. So this video is going to focus on titanium dioxide, E171. This is what's known as a nanoparticle, a very small particle. And it's added to various different foods in the United States, including many sweets, M&Ms, Skittles, other sweet products, baked goods, it's found in sauces, it's found in spreads, it's found in icings, it's even found in coffee creamers. And it is a particle, it is a substance that has no nutritional value, it is simply there added as a white pigment. And it's very interesting because this pigment is also added to plastics and paints. That doesn't sound very appetizing, does it? Interestingly, some areas of the United States, including California, are trying to take action against titanium dioxide. That's all in the works, but the FDA still considers it safe, and it set a limit of adding titanium dioxide to up to 1% of the food weight. That seems like a lot, doesn't it? 1% of the food weight for this particular chemical, titanium dioxide. But other parts of the world think very differently, including Europe. Take a look at this. Titanium dioxide E171 no longer considered safe when used as a food additive. In Europe, it's actually considered genotoxic. Genotoxic. That means that it's considered damaging to genes and DNA. Think about that for a moment. But in the United States, there is no such warning. Let me share this research with you. One study from 2021. Impact of food additive titanium dioxide on gut microbiota composition. We don't talk about the gut microbiome anywhere nearly enough, but they are the trillions, yes, trillions of organisms residing in everybody's gut that have to be kept in harmony. And many food additives completely destroy the natural gut microbiome, leading to disease. So this study was a systemic literature search, and they looked at animal studies, and their conclusion was, although the extrapolation of these results from animals to humans remains difficult, this review highlights the key role of gut microbiota in gut nanotoxicology and stimulates discussions on the safe titanium dioxide use in food and dietary supplements. Then there's another study here from 2020, Effects of Titanium Dioxide Nanoparticles Exposure on Human Health, a review. Recently, an increased interest in nanotechnology applications can be observed in various fields. And look what they said here. Scientific databases inform that titanium dioxide nanoparticles can induce inflammation due to oxidative stress. They can also have a genotoxic effect, leading to, among others, apoptosis or chromosomal instability. Oxidative stress is exactly what you don't want these cells in your body exposed to. You don't want them under oxidative stress. That is what is implicated in many different illnesses, chronic inflammation, chronic disease, also aging. Here's another piece of research here from 2021. Toxicity of orally administered food grade titanium dioxide nanoparticles. This year, France banned the application of titanium dioxide nanoparticles as a food additive based on the insufficient oral toxicity data. They talk here at the bottom about the no observed adverse effect level of E171 for 90 days with repeat oral administration. And then they do say additionally, further study is needed to clarify the possible carcinogenesis cancer causing following the chronic accumulation in the colon. And I recently went shopping. I'm in the northeast of the United States. Let me share some ingredient labels with you here. So I'm going to share with you a couple of real world examples. I picked up this here, trolley sour bright crawlers. I don't think I would ever be brave enough to touch anything like that. But nevertheless, it is on sale in grocery stores in the United States. And here we go. Look at the ingredient label, titanium dioxide added here amongst all of these other ingredients, many other bad ones here, but let's focus on titanium dioxide. And let's look at something here more well known Skittles. We've all heard of Skittles. Take a look at this here, the ingredient label. There you go, titanium dioxide. So there we go then, another food ingredient, an additive 
which the United States deems safe. The authorities here believe that it is safe, but many other nations do not believe it's safe. And remember this as well. Many of these food products that contain these worrisome chemicals are deliberately marketed to children. That's the worst thing of all. How can you keep you and your family safe? Well, my best piece of advice is diligently read those food labels. They're right in front of you. Get into the habit of reading them. Do not put any food substances into yourself without knowing exactly what they contain. That's the best piece of advice I can give you because so many of these artificial fake chemicals that we are consuming now are driving chronic disease, chronic inflammation and obesity. So do your best to be as natural as possible. Avoid these toxic chemicals. So once more, the subject of this video, titanium dioxide. Be on the lookout for it. It's not allowed in other countries, but we have it here in the United States. Thanks everyone for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Check out my online Real Health Academy and my uncensored platform. Those links are also down below. Hit the like button if you like this video and the bell button for more similar videos in the future. We will talk again next time.